Question. P.S. If zero is greater than B, which is greater than A, what is the value of cube root of whole cube of A minus B plus square root of whole square of A minus B plus square root of A squared plus cube root of B cubed? Solution. Relationship between nth root and absolute value. If the nth root of a number a is raised to the power of n is taken, the value would depend on whether n is even or odd. If n is odd, nth root of a to the power of n equals a. If n is even, nth root of a to the power of n equals absolute value of a. We have to find the value of cube root of whole of cube of whole of a minus b plus square root of square of whole of a minus b plus square root of a squared plus cube root of b cubed if 0 is greater than b is greater than a. Now, let's solve each term. 3 equals odd. So, cube root of whole cube of a minus b equals a minus b. 2 equals even, and a is less than b. a minus b is less than 0. So, square root of whole square of a minus b equals absolute value of whole of a minus b equals negative of whole of a minus b equals b minus a. 2 equals even, and a is less than 0. So, square root of a squared equals absolute value of a equals negative a. 3 equals odd, so cube root of b cubed equals b. So, cube root of whole cube of a minus b plus square root of whole square of a minus b plus square root of a squared plus cube root of b cubed equals a minus b plus b minus a minus a plus b equals negative a plus b equals b minus a. So, b is the correct answer. Answer b. Once you understand the properties, the questions become much easier to solve.